This actor abruptly quit a popular show on Hallmark and left thousands of fans heartbroken. And he's just one among many Hallmark Christmas actors who left Hallmark for GAC. Today, we're starting off with, even though she's best recognized for her work on the CW's 90210 revivals, Jessica Laundes has quite a few well-known Hallmark films to her credit, including the holiday season special Christmas at Pemberley Manor. Laundes made her acting debut in the 2005 television film Saving Millie, where she played the role of Andrea Kondrak, and since then, there's no looking back. It doesn't come as a surprise that this actress, who is loaded with talent, was just a teen when she landed her first big gig. At just 16 years old, Laundes already knew that she belonged to the entertainment industry. After making a cameo on an episode of Masters of Horror, she was cast as Becky in the sitcom Alice, I think. After several more stints, she landed a supporting role in the 2005 Lifetime feature To Have and To Hold. And this might have paved the path to debut in Hallmark movies. Right from her first movie with Hallmark, Laundes made a mark for herself. Merry Matrimony, which was released back in 2015, is perhaps Jessica's most memorable movie yet. The chemistry between Laundes and Christopher Russell sizzled our screens, and the plot was absolutely captivating. In the movie, Laundes is an advertising professional, Bree, who receives the opportunity of a lifetime to plan the ideal Christmas wedding for a fashion magazine. The deal is that she stands a chance to become a partner at the firm if she has a successful run at the wedding. But there is always a romantic twist to every Hallmark movie, and in this one, Brie is unintentionally connected with an influential fashion photographer who actually happens to be her ex-boyfriend. The movie takes us through the ups and downs with the lead actress trying to balance her career and a chance meeting with her old flame. The character was perfectly scripted to match Laundis' charm, and it surely set her off the right path with Hallmark. Since then, year after year, Laundis came out with roles that captivated every die-hard Hallmark viewer's heart. But nobody expected that her 2021 release titled Mix Up in the Mediterranean opposite Jeremy Jordan in Callum Blue would be her last stint with Hallmark. While fans were expecting another Jessica Laundis movie to roll out under the Hallmark banner, the actress was busy working on her first collaboration with GAC Family as the executive producer and lead character of a movie titled Autumn Romance. The fact that Jessica might have been one of the first Hallmark stars to make the move to GAC is evident from the fact that Autumn Romance is the first original film to air on GAC. From then to now, Jessica has continued to write, direct, produce, and act in a variety of GAC movies. Reports suggest that Laundis had signed a four-picture deal with a production company, and this is only the beginning of a long road ahead. In an interview with Bill Abbott, the CEO and creative head of GAC Family, Laundis shared her excitement of being part of a new company. She said, I'm so excited for this network and for everyone to just find a new home, you know, a home where stories are well told and it's... GAC is definitely excited to have Laundis on board as this talented artist is not only a great actress, but also an amazing singer. It looks like we'll be treated to some beautiful musicals down the line from GAC, and nope, we can't really complain. Her most recent Christmas flick with GAC, I'm Glad It's Christmas, is a treat to your eyes and ears. Jessica portrays the role of Holly, an aspiring singer who decides to participate in a local holiday show which turns out to be a life-changing moment. While Jessica's compelling viewers to switch to GAC like she did, it looks like she's not the only singer come actress that GAC has roped out of Hallmark. Okay, let's take all your anxiety away, for we're talking about the very pretty Jen Lilly. Lilly has become a household name in the Hallmark family, and her departure from that family entertainment channel has left a lot of loyal Hallmark fans not feeling so good. Jen Lilly too has a commendable list of filmography behind her, she rose to fame on the ABC soap opera drama, General Hospital, where she temporarily portrayed the role of Maxie Jones. She also played the role of Teresa Donovan in the NBC soap opera, Days of Our Lives. But come 2017, and Jen Lilly made a starry entry into the Hallmark family with her movie, A Dash of Love. The cute girl next door image that comes so naturally to the actress was so well received by the audience that in a very short span of time, she was featured in over 13 Hallmark movies. The US Weekly even quoted her as the undisputed queen of romantic comedies and feel-good stories. Now, isn't that what Hallmark is all about? 
It's safe to say that no matter what character Lily was given, she nailed it. Right from the time she was cast as a struggling marketing professional who was forced to work with an ex in Where Your Heart Belongs, to an app developer in Mingle All The Way, she always furthered Hallmark's essence and contributed to the channel's addicting qualities. But just as Lily was making a firm foundation for herself in Hallmark, rumors started doing the rounds that she had left the network in search of better pastures. And where did she find her comfort zone? The GAC family. And Bill Abbott was more than pleased to have her and his team. So thank you for joining us. Thank you so much for having me, Bill. It's an honor to be on your network, especially in the first season. Lily made her GAC family debut with a Christmas special movie titled Royally Wrapped for Christmas in 2021. She then went on to film her next holiday movie titled Stay for Christmas alongside Jesse Hutch. While Lily seems to have settled down in GAC, her move to Hallmark rival company received a lot of criticism. In response to all the hate comments, Jen Lily posted on her Instagram page saying, GAC family is completely loving, diverse, and does so much behind the scenes for the kingdom of God that I get compelled as a Christian to support them wholeheartedly. I hope you're not believing the rumors you hear that have an agenda, but I can tell you personally, I know this channel is full of genuine love, rooted in truth, and will do so much for so many," she added. We all know Jen Lilly is a devout Christian and a loving family person who enjoys spending time with her kids and husband. And by the looks of it, GAC seems to echo every bit of her ideology and hence the move. While Jen Lilly already has a stronghold on the GAC family network and its audience after signing up for four consecutive movies, this next actor made a sudden exit from being one of the most loved characters in the history of the Hallmark Network. The fifth season of When Calls the Heart was a really emotional one. Not because the plot had a ton of heartbreaks, but because Daniel Leasing departed from the most well-liked show on Hallmark Channel. Following his sudden exit, Leasing then appeared in a movie titled Christmas in Love, but hasn't appeared on the network since then. Well, that's because Leasing made the big switch to the GAC Family Network and almost immediately landed a prominent role alongside Lori Laughlin in When Hope Calls, A Country Christmas. Much like the actors making the switch to GAC, this show too switched over to the new network after completing the first season with Hallmark. Leasing's most recent movie is The Catering Christmas, where he's cast GAC, but we got to see him in the first Valentine movie for the channel, alongside Jessica Laundes titled Harmony from the Heart. Now, whether Jesse Metcalf will continue a long run with GAC, or if he will desert them in search of something new, we're not entirely sure. But this next actress landed the perfect opportunity of playing two lead characters in just one GAC movie. When you think about the TV shows, Mentors, and True Justice, the first person who comes to your mind is Sarah Lind. On the teenage fiction TV series Mentors, which aired on Family Channel in 1998, Lind was cast as Dee Sampson which happens to be her first significant role. After Mentors, she was picked up for a CBC teen drama series, Edgemont, in 2000, where she played the lead role of Jen McMahon. And this was no cameo. She went on to stay on the show for the next five seasons. As for her break with Hallmark, Lind was cast in three movies that come into the Martha Vineyard's mystery series. And guess what? All through the three movies, she was cast opposite none other than Jesse Metcalf. From solving murders to tackling mysteries, these movies are a must-watch for all thrill stick and no one can deny that the lead pair had a terrific chemistry that made these movies all the more worthwhile. But just as her co-star Metcalf quit Hallmark and moved to GAC, so did Sarah Lind. But Lind got lucky as her first casting in GAC turned out to be for a double role. In the movie titles The Great Christmas Switch, Lind plays the role of two twin sisters who switch places to get away from their problems for a little while. This gave us an opportunity as viewers to see Lind in two contrasting characters, one who is outgoing and one who is a mature single mother. And we have to say that she aced both roles. So these are the Hallmark Christmas actors who left for GAC family. Do you know anyone who made the move that we didn't mention? Let us know in the comments down below. Who will you miss the most on Hallmark? Meanwhile, who knows, maybe someday one of these actors might just return to Hallmark and resume their iconic roles. At least that's what we've heard. Until then, thanks for watching. Until next time.